लेंस कार्ड के नए थ्री डी ट्राइन के साथ अब ट्राई करो हजारों चश्मे वो भी अपने ही चेहरे पर। डाउनलोड दी एप क्रिएट योर थ्री डी अवतार लेंस कार्ड डॉट कॉम नाउन्स अउन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच विच इज अमिंग वर्ड दैट कैन बी अ पर्सन प्लेस थिंग आइडिया और इवेंट्स And nouns are the simplest among the eight parts of speech. In a sentence, nouns can play the role of subject, direct object, indirect object, subject complement, object complement, a positivity or adjective, as depending on the necessity. Generally, there are five types of nouns. They are proper noun, common noun, collective noun, abstract noun, materialistic noun. Let's learn briefly about the kinds of nouns. First one, proper noun. A proper noun is a noun which refers to specific things. It is the name of a particular person, place, thing or event. It begins with a capital letter. Let's see the examples. Chennai, Amitabh Bachchan, Char Minar and so on. and the next one common noun a common noun is a noun which names general things it is the name that is common to the same kind of persons place or things let's see the examples police bottle boys pens animals and so on and the next one is collective noun a collective noun is a name given to a group of people or things A collective noun is treated as a singular noun. Collective nouns take everything under one group. Let's see the examples. Herd, jury, flock and so on. And the next one is abstract noun. An abstract noun is a noun which names qualities in persons, animals or things. It is usually the name of a quality, actions or state. which we normally cannot see or touch though we can feel them or think of them let's see the examples manners promise energy love fear and so on and the last one is material noun a material noun is a noun which names something we can see and touch a substance a material something used for making things it can also be an article of food or drink these are the raw elements or objects existing in nature let's see the examples paper wheat rice cotton silk and so on nouns are furtherly classified into two types countable nouns and uncountable nouns first one countable nouns These are the nouns that can be counted are called countable nouns. To the linguist, these countable nouns can occur in both single and plural forms. They can be modified by numerals and can co-occur with quantificational determiners like many, most, more, several, etc. Let's see the examples. Chairs, mobiles, pens, tables and so on. Uses We can use countable nouns with the indefinite articles a and an which indicate one person or thing. We can also use countable nouns with the plural form of the noun. Second one, uncountable nouns. The nouns which cannot be segregated, measured and counted as individual units or elements are called uncountable nouns. Examples: water, information, money and so on. Now let's see some of the rules of using the nouns. first one nouns which are used in singular form one scenery information furniture advice machinery stationery news poetry business mischief fuel issue repair bedding let's see the examples the scenery of this place is worth seeing he has received no information so far second physics mathematics economics classics ethics athletics innings gallows let's see the examples economics is a very interesting subject the indian team defeated the australian by an innings third brick bread fruit 
word that says promise. Let's see the examples. Let me buy some fruit. He is true to his word. Fourth, words like dozen, score, hundred, thousand, million when preceded by a numeral. Let's see the examples. He bought ten dozen oranges. I have four pair of shoes. Fifth, expressions as a ten rupee note, a two hour journey, a four mile walk, a five year plan, a six man committee, etc. Example, a ten rupee note is lying there. Now the second one is nouns used only in plural form. First, cattle, police, poultry, people, gentry, peasantry, artillery. Let's see the examples. The police have caught the thief. Cattle are grazing in the field. Second, scissors, trousers, stockings, spectacles, shorts, arms, remains, riches, good, measles. Let's see the examples. My scissors are very sharp. My spectacles are missing. Now the third one. Noun used both as singular and plural in the same form. First, deer, sheep, fish, apparatus, wages. Let's see the examples. The wages of sin is death. The wages of the workers have been raised. I saw a sheep grazing in the field. Sheep are sold cheaper than goat. Second, collective nouns as jury, public, team, audience, committee, government, audience, congregation, orchestra. Let's see the examples. The team are looking quite fit. The team has not turned up yet. Now the fourth one. Use of collective nouns. Crowd of people, herd of cattle or cows, team of players, flight of birds, bouquet of flowers, shoal or school of fish, bundle of sticks, army of soldiers, flock of sheep, crew of sailors, swarm of bees, garland of beads, gang of thieves, library of books, mob of angry people, Fleet of ships or cruisers, pack of wolves, pack of carts, loaf of bread, heap of corn, stock of grain, class of pupils, bunch of grapes, herd of lions, pile of books, horde of nomads, block of flats, file of papers. And now the fifth one. One of or any of is followed by plural words. Let's see the examples. I want one of the books kept on the table. Any of these tools may serve the purpose. Sixth one. Plural nouns are used with fractions and decimals over one. Example. It took us one and a half hours. So these are some of the rules while using the nouns. Now let's see some common errors occurs in nouns. 1. The noun following none of, some of, one of must be plural but the verb agrees in number with the subject of the sentence. For example, some of my friends are coming to dinner. This is incorrect. Some of my friends are coming to dinner. This is correct. Second. Some nouns are singular in form, but they are used as plural nouns. Scissors, spectacles, people, company, police, etc. And always take a plural verb. For example, the police has arrested the thief. This is incorrect. The police have arrested the thief. This is correct. The spectacles is on the table. This is incorrect. The spectacles are on the table. This is correct. Third, 
when nouns indicating length money weight or number are used after numbers they retain the same form in the plural for example he has bought 3 dozen banana this is incorrect he has bought 3 dozen bananas this is correct fourth collective nouns like public team committee government etc can be used both as singular and plural noun depending on the meaning that is when they indicate a unit it is singular and when it refers to its members it is plural for example a team were appointed to interview the candidate this is incorrect a team was appointed to interview the candidate this is correct the committees was divided on the basis of their qualification this is incorrect the committees were divided on the basis of their qualification this is correct fifth some nouns are used only in singular form and they always take a singular verb for example the scenery of this place is worth watching this is incorrect the scenery of this place is worth watching this is correct so this is about the nouns the simplest among the eight parts of speech